Feels good, won't you vax that thing up? Use a handsome young brother, won't you vax that thing up? A revamped hip-hop song like Vax That Thing Up was just one of the many ways leaders work to get Americans vaccinated during the COVID-19 pandemic. Today, energy has waned with news of negative side effects, including long vax. Fatigue, post-exertion malaise, and then brain fog, and then there's a whole side list of symptoms. The largest global study to date just found that COVID vaccines were linked to small increases in neurological, blood, and heart-related conditions. The global COVID vaccine data network looked at 99 million vaccinated individuals and found the rare adverse effects included a higher risk of heart-related inflammation from mRNA shots made by Moderna, BioNTech, and Pfizer. I'm pro-vaccine. But there are some people that I feel like, uh, let me just hold off right now while I do more testing. The study also found an increased risk of a type of blood clot in the brain from viral vector vaccines such as AstraZeneca's. I felt like I, my body was just shutting down. Full Measures' Cheryl Atkinson spoke with vaccinated people last summer who were then dealing with microclots. Hannah Bourgeois's conditions were so bad, she was bedridden for nearly two years. Within two weeks. I, I felt like I had risen from the dead. She was treated by Dr. Jordan Vaughn, an internal medicine specialist and CEO of MedHelp Clinics in Alabama. He has studied how these vaccines can impact the body. According to the CDC, COVID vaccines tell the patient's cells to make the same spike protein that's in COVID. Some experts say the spike proteins are apparently causing damage through microclots months or years later. You're basically not getting oxygen out to the tissues. The doctors behind the new study say there needs to be further investigation to confirm the vaccine's association with these issues. In Washington, Janae Bowens.